someone needs to hear today that it is not about being perfect. God knows that you are human and that you will not be able to do everything absolutely perfect and right 100% of the time. You will have flaws, you will make mistakes, you will fall short, and you will have times when you disobey and sin. That is why Daddy God sent Jesus to die for our sins and failures. You are covered by Jesus' blood and so you stand in His righteousness before Daddy God and not in your own righteousness. So what is God looking for? Two scriptures show us this, Isaiah 66 verse 2 and Micah 6 verse 8. Isaiah 66 verse 2 in the ESV says, All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. And Micah 6 verse 8 in the ESV, He has told you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? God is looking for devoted hearts, hearts that will walk humbly with Him and hearts that are contrite, quick to repent with sincerity and turn if they should disobey or sin. God is looking for hearts that will treat His word, the logos and rima words, with respect and reverence and not as a casual thing. God desires obedience more than sacrifice, as we see in 1 Samuel 15 verse 22. God is looking for hearts that will respond, follow and do as He asks and lead. And above all, God desires obedience more than sacrifice, as we see in 1 Samuel 15 verse 22. God is looking for hearts that will respond, follow and do as He asks and leads. And above all, God desires hearts that will love Him with all their heart and with all their soul and with all their mind and with all their strength, as we see in Mark 12, verse 30. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13 to 14 in the NIV brings it all together where it says, Now all has been heard, and here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. So my beautiful God, I just come in the name of Jesus and I lift up my brother and sister who is struggling with thinking they need to be perfect in front of you. Help them to realize, God, that there is not one man on this planet that is perfect, that there is not one man in this planet, Lord, that will never sin, that will always just do the right thing. But help them to understand your sacrifice, my beautiful Jesus, for them on the cross. Help them to know, Lord, that you are looking at the heart, that all you want, Lord, is for us to love you and obey you and walk with you humbly every single day of our lives. So help my brother and sister to get free from that entanglement of what the enemy is trying to capture them in, because that is not your heart for them. In Jesus' most holy and powerful name, amen.